Ladies and gentlemen, I have found a brand new channel. It's called The Shot Cook. And let me tell you, it's very, very entertaining to look at. So what we're going to be doing today is taking a look at this brand new channel. We've got a combination of videos to stumble across. Um, there's actually a total of 32 videos, which isn't bad. And it's all been released within about a year. So for a new YouTuber, that's pretty good. Oh my god, all these thumbnails are like a... One of those Twitter feeling grids, like, how are you feeling today? Are you feeling a number one, number two, or a number three? But we're going to be looking at chocolate mousse-ish, because, hey, I love a chocolate mousse. Hi everybody, welcome back to another sketch by the short cook. What? Sketch. This is not a sketch, it's a video. And I am just under six foot, just to reiterate the short bit. Oh, that, that's pretty sad, to be honest. Oh. You're kind of handing it to the bullies at this point. Uh, today we're going to do uh, sort of a chocolate mousse-ish sort of a dish. And we've got a few dedications. We've got Me? five, of course, for doing the camera work. We have got uh, Sailor Boy Chris Warren, massive egghead. Me? Tons of bags under his eyes. All Hello? That sort of thing. Looks terrible. Happy 40th, Chris. Hope that helped. And Aaron Pryke, he's 25 today. So happy birthday to Aaron. No one likes you! Should we sing happy birthday to... Oh, we're gonna be doing a little sing-along. I'm gonna join in. Happy birthday to you! Happy bu... F we part way through this because otherwise it's gonna take absolutely ages, so... Oh, okay, yeah, that's... Well, how about you go on the bake-off then? Alright, before you even enter the tent, yeah, half of it's done because we can't be bothered. Now, I'm really hating the lack of realism in this video, you know. You need to start from scratch, because if people are going to be making this, then we need the full shot cook method. You know, you're a scam! Please subscribe! Is this his intro? Is this his outro? This is going to be on, like, worst outros, and it's going to be, like, a really stock music, isn't there? Right. Kind of soft peaks, and um, they've got a little bit of sugar in Yeah, that just looks like you've put fairy liquid in it, and just put some water in it, just made a lot of bubbles. You know, that looks like foam. That looks like it belongs in a bath or something, like, not in your food. There it is. There you go. And we'll just whisk all that in together. You know, I think I'll be able to do a little short cook sketch. Give me a minute. Ah oh, yes, hello, welcome back to cooking with the shop. <coughs> Anyways, today we're going to be making a chocolate mousse, but with foam. So guys, what you want to take is you want to get your nearest hand wash and put it into the pan. Egg whites in. You can put them all in like that. Ooh. And then what you need to do is... That looks delish, the shop cook. I want to eat that so much. Together. That just looks like your fairy liquid again, though. We thought. So I think what we'll do is... Cut it. We'll have a little break, and then we'll be back when I make this look better than it currently does, which probably wouldn't be that hard. Okay. Take two, Clive. Take two. Yeah, we'll do take two. And we're back. Oh, the transition. Oh! Oh, what video editor is this? Because you can tell there's editing because the transition, so... I don't know, movie maker, cheap mobile thing. I don't know. I, you'll tell. I, you should do a Q and A the short cook. Great return back to YouTube after a break. I heard some people are doing that the same. You know. Despite my uh, lack of confidence there, it actually took about another minute and a half, something like that, for it to combine. You're not a cook if you cannot even estimate the finishing of your work. I think it looks pretty good. Have a look at that, uh, Clive. That looks like tomato soup. You know, where have the egg whites gone? Yeah, you mixed it. Yeah, I know how to bake, all right? Right, good stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these little ramekin things here, those little glass, glass ramekins. We're oh, you're spoiling your customers with that serving. What do you call these things? Ladles. A key of being a chef is knowing the names of your apparatus. So when you say a ladle or something, connotes that you do not know the true nature of that specific piece of apparatus. Therefore, you are not a real cook, you are a fraud, and you will be sentenced to five years in jail. What you need to do is, 
you need to put them into the fridge for a minimum oh great working space of two hours Okay, so after cooking for like what feels like two hours, you have to put them in a fridge for the same duration of time. Cocoa powder. What? There's enough cocoa in it. That's the whole point of the dessert. I just knew that was you don't want slightly. extra. <laughs> oh yeah, put it on the plate. Yeah, because we're gonna be eating the plate as well, and we want a bit of cocoa flavoring because I've had enough of glass today. Let me guess, we're gonna have the cream custard as well, like some cooks out there. Put some cocoa powder over there. Why? On the spoon? No, over here. What is it? Fancy little trick now. 19. What, what we're gonna lift it? Ooh, it's the shape of a spoon. If you dare do that. In 70s, dinner party trick. <laughs> Wait. A splodge, I suspect. No. Of. Creme fresh. Just like that. You basically just ruined a perfect looking dish. You know? Just putting like a wad of like ice cream on the top has made it look like a laughing stock. <clears throat> However, we don't usually do this, but we're gonna have a test. Oh to take the test! Of it looks like. You're Paul Hollywood now! Alright, so I'll, I'll spam another one up for the stills. Yeah? Well, they all look like this. When we're eating them at home, I do all of them like this. Uh, always, everything is always fantastically presented just like this. Alright. Oh. Well, that's some great acting skills. Right. So. Let's have a look at that. Eat it. Eat it. Oh. It's not entirely like the inside of an aero. Come on, you can't even be proud of your own work. You should be proud that it, that it even looks like an arrow to begin with. But there's definitely some air bubbles in there, isn't there? What do you mean? Uh, right, should we test it? Have a little bit of that. Oh, come on! Uh, fresh Stop running it! <laughs> Who was that? Is that your prisoner? So, before it went in, um, off camera, <clears throat> We had a little bit of a lick of the bowl. And we all said it tastes a little bit like a runny Terry's chocolate orange. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, it's not Terry's, it's mine. It does taste like a Terry's chocolate orange. But, but it's your chocolate orange. It's a chocolate mousse. A chocolate orange mousse. Like, you know, you could pitch that to Terry's. You can pitch that and you will make millions off that idea you know i could easily pitch that you know do you want me on board you know i can be a new editor i, I can be a new cameraman you know who who likes clive anyways now it's not really so much runny as moosey oh man that is stunning i don't really eat sweets I got to this size eating chips and pies, not sweet. That is chocolate mousse-ish. Oh, bravo. Um, stay safe, everyone. Yes, I will. That's a Thank short you. out from the short cook. Okay. Uh, please subscribe. Still under six foot tall. And we'll see you again. Thank you very much. Oh, bravo, the short cook. Another great video. Five likes and we'll, we'll look at another one. You know, there's different ones out here. There's Cumberland... Cumberlandish pie. Well, thank you everyone for watching. This has been the short cut, short out. This is the short out from the short cook, still under six foot tall. I, I, I am though. I like to think so. And goodbye. <laughs>